The subject is ethics and the internet. And uh, I was given the assignment to think about that for a couple of days before doing this uh, short interview. And I did. And I came, to, I went through the following thought processes. First, I said, well, what would it be like if we took the internet away today completely after all these years that we've gotten used to having it? Um, and how would that, how would it work? <laughs> how would we communicate with each other? Uh, no email, none of that stuff. Boy, it really uh, is, is scary. Uh, and so my first thought was, how much good would we lose uh, by not having the internet as we know it today? And the next thought was, how much harm would we not have uh, if we took the internet away? And I came to the conclusion that uh, uh, the, the good far outweighs the harm uh, in the way that the internet's being used today. But at the same time, uh, the harm is, is not something that we want to live with on a long-term basis, and uh, there should be some kind of a solution to that. It's today, it's like the great frontier, the pioneers. There are no rules. There are no laws. There, uh, it is completely up to the individual how they use the Internet, what they put on the Internet, what they look at on the Internet. and. Uh, I compared it with the privilege of driving. So I thought sometime in the, in the future, it wouldn't surprise me that on a worldwide basis, we required an internet driver's license that could be taken away if the privilege is abused. And that would give us a way to manage the harm that's done on the internet uh, without affecting uh, apparently the good.